Did that tell us some about the errors in the Bible? Go ahead. At the same time, speak the Lord to Isaiah. God spoke to Isaiah, the son of Amos, saying, Go and lose the sackcloth from thy loins. You know the sackcloth that you're tying? Untie that. And put the, off thy shoes from thy foot. And he did so, walking naked and barefoot. A prophet. People, listen to the dad. God said to Isaiah, you know, release your sack and take off your shoe and uh, walk naked. This is your Bible, Christians? Did that tell us what do you think? Put thy, off thy shoes from thy foot. And he did so, walking naked and barefoot. A prophet of God, for three years, he's walking up and down the streets of Jerusalem or wherever he was. Man, he was in Jerusalem. And he was naked for three years. Abdul, son of Muta, you just read, it says, take, take off your sack. The, the, the Jewish rabbi and the prophet, they have a special clothes they wear to show that they are a custom, a uniform. Stupid idiot, son of Muta. It says, even you did just read it. Listen again to show you how stupid this guy is. They have no dignity. They have no honesty. Say it again. Take the Lord to Isaiah. God spoke to Isaiah, the son of Amos, saying, Go and lose the sackcloth from thy loins. See? So those are clothes. It's like, you know, you know, like, uh, let us say in the old days, uh, when you are a knight, you have a, a coat you wear. When you are like the Arab today, they use abaya, like the man, he put abaya. Uh, so, uh, uh, and even the abaya present like uh, your social status. As an example, those who they are very rich, the, the end line is made of uh, fabric from gold. So, this is not about going naked, and this is not about Jerusalem. You stupid idiot, but as long going naked is a shame. And he is making fun, saying, this is in your gospel, a prophet of God. A prophet of God going naked. You know the sackcloth that you're tying? Untie that. And put the, off thy shoes from thy foot. And he did so, walking naked and barefoot. A prophet of God, for three years, he's walking up and down the streets of Jerusalem or wherever he was, absolutely naked, not even a G-string. Not even a G-string. Now let us get him busted, and now every Muslim will spit at your grave because you just humiliated your prophet. Let us go. You see, imagine if I am the one who is debating Ahmad Didat when he was saying that. Imagine. <laughs> G-string, you son of Muta. Filthy. Coward. G-string. We will go down to the G-string in a second. Obviously, you are expert with the G-string. Old man. This is your prophet. And this is authentic that Allah He made Moses walk naked in Jerusalem. And there is no G string at all. And the story, by the way, is true story. And as you see, this is all is Sahih. The Muslim they cannot say this is not true. This is Al Bukhari as an example. Let us read together. Logic, science. Now, Allah Messenger said, Prophet Moses was a shy person and he used to cover his body completely because of his extensive shyness. One of the children of Israel hurt him by saying, he covered his body. <laughs> he covered it. <laughs> because, why? Only because he have some defect in his skin. Either he have leprosy, 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 or uh, uh, sorry, this word I don't know how to say. A, a squirrel, squirrel, uh, her, 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 hernia, 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 hernia. So the story is very simple. A Jewish guy, his name is Jack Shalom. He saw Musa. He don't take shower with the rest. He start thinking, Habibi, Musa, Habibi, Moshe. He don't take shower with us. So why Moshe is not taking shower with us? Uh -huh. Moshe, he must have a problem in his private part. And mostly his private part, he have one eye only. Because usually you should have two eyes. 
And now Allah, he heard this Jew is speaking about his prophet. So Allah will, will prove that he have no defect. So listen what happened. So or he has some other defect. Allah wished to clear Moses. Eh? Allah wished. Okay, your wish is granted. Let us see what Allah will do. Of what they said about him. So one day, while Moses was in seclusion, look as usual, the guy he cannot take a shower with people. Unbelievable. And then he took off his clothes and put them on the stone and started taking a bath. When he finished the bath, he moved toward the, uh, the his clothes so to take them, you know, so he would wear the, the, the clothes. Okay, what happened next? As to take them, but the stone took his clothes, brother, and he fled. And Moses picked up his stick and ran after. Look at Moses, you know, this guy Moses, he cannot walk anywhere without his stick. I mean, come on. I mean, the stone took his clothes, and now it is time to pick his stick. It's like, you know, taking your iPhone with you. You know, like, come on, he cannot move without it. You know, Harry Potter. So he took his stick and he started. It's chasing the stone. Okay, so he pick up the stick and run after the stone saying, Oh stone, give me my garment. By the way, here you notice that stone, like Moses is not surprised that the stone is running. Did you notice that? It looked like at that time, stones used to run and take clothes. It's very like very normal. Like you see it every day in the news. Like imagine yourself, you are taking a taking a bath in a river or whatever, and then a stone take your clothes and carry them and run with them. Moses, he was not like saying like, what the heck? Like he was not even surprised for a second. No, he's talking to the stone. He says, stone, stop, stop. Give me back my garment, oh stone. Like, and the stone, you know what? The stone, she is not, she, she will not listen. She hear him, by the way, brother. Until he reached the group of Bani Israel. And they saw him naked, and there's no G string on him, son of Mutadidat. So, do you see how did that he brought shame to Muhammad? If this is a shameful thing, as he said, and we heard him, well, this is in your religion, not in our book. In our book, it doesn't say that he is naked, naked. It says naked as a messenger, as a prophet, as a rabbi. He did not take his uniform. He release your sack. Take off your bare shoes, your shoes. And he was in the desert. He was living alone. He did not live in Jerusalem. There's nobody around him. Here, your God, he did lead Moses in purpose until he reached downtown. So all the people there, they will see. And they found him the best of Allah had created. Here I have to stop. Obviously the penis of a prophet Moses was so good to be true. Like it says perfect. Not only perfect, it says the best. <clears throat> Do you see Abdul? We are talking about his penis. The people of Israel, they found that the penis of Moses is the best that Allah had created. And here I am really offended because are you saying that the penis of Moses is better than the penis of Muhammad? What are you talking about? This is a mistake here. You cannot say that. So the guy who walked naked and there's no joy. Let us go back to the G string, the expert. I mean, you're surprised to see a person in this age. He is not in the age of the internet, and he is talking about G-string. Obviously, he is not interested with G-string. Obviously. And look how he point, he, he point his finger at his down his panty. Look, 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 look at the son of Muta. Look, you just brought shame to your prophet because if this is a shameful thing, this is in your religion. If this is a shame for, for, your, for God, well, your God, Allah, is the one who made the stone run so everybody can see Moses totally naked. Remember, Moses was taking a shower. And the, the point is to prove that his private part have no, no problem. So it's not just like he, like he maybe run with a short, maybe. No, they have to see his penis. Tell us more about the, 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 horrible, the horrible thing. Uh, Saying, go and lose the sackcloth from thy loins. You know the sackcloth that you're tying? Untie that. 
and put the, off thy shoes from thy foot. And he did so, walking naked and barefoot. A prophet of God, for three years, he's walking up and down the streets of Jerusalem or wherever he was, absolutely <laughs> naked, not even a G-string. <laughs> Can you imagine God giving such instructions to his prophet? See, he's a do you think that God will do such an instruction to his prophet? Do you think God will do that? Hey Muslim, do you think God will do that? So Didat is saying, there is no way God will do that. So Didat, he admitted that his God Allah and his prophet is a fraud because there's no true God will do such a thing. Did he say what? Did you did you hear him? There's no true God would do that. And put the, off thy shoes from thy foot, and he did so, walking naked and barefoot. A prophet of God for three years, he's walking up and down the streets of Jerusalem or wherever he was, absolutely naked, not even a g-string. Can you imagine God giving such instructions to his prophet? Can you imagine God did such an instruction? Muslims, can you imagine? Who is a Muslim when I agree with this imagine? Do you imagine God would do that? So all those Muslim Abdul, they are watching the that nobody noticed that this is proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. This is why this dummy, he will never he debated only once an Arabic Christian and he didn't he, he ran away from the second debate debate. The schedule second debate. The guy he came, the Christian came waiting the stage. And the dad, the coward, the son of Mutahir, ran away.